What is up guys, it's your boy Falcon back again and today we are working on a 2013 Ford Focus with a 2.0 liter engine and what we're going to be doing is going to be replacing the front motor mount. So if you got to replace your motor mount on your Ford Focus from 2012 to 2017, make sure you stay tuned. <music> So how did I diagnose this issue on this Ford Focus? So I've replaced this motor mount or I've had the same issue on other Ford Focuses, um, also Mazda 3s um, with the four cylinder engines, some Toyotas with the four cylinder engine. I've also made those videos uh, before, so I will put those videos right there in the description as well. That way you guys can go check them out. When you feel that vibration, like basically you get in there, you turn on your vehicle and your vehicle is, you know, regular, no vibration. And then once you put it in drive, or reverse you start feeling this vibration on your steering wheel or the dash sometimes it will rattle because of the small vibration if you put like something on top of the dash you'll see it vibrate sometimes you won't even see it unless you put something on top nine times out of ten is that motor mount right there all right to begin here is the engine right here this is the new motor mount the one that we're going to be replacing here is the part number if you guys need it um, and the motor mount that we're gonna be replacing is gonna be right there. So here, let's go and show you what tools we're gonna need. All right, we're gonna be using an 18 millimeter socket, a 50 millimeter socket. We're also gonna need a long case station. We might need one more after this, just to make it longer, maybe even a shorter one, I don't know. We'll see once we get in there. And a 3 8 um, ratchet, um, these ones are 3 8 also. But this is all we really need. Of course, we're also gonna need a um, jack, I did lift up the car a little bit, let me show you. I jacked up the car just a little bit and I put a small jack stand there. Just because the car is so so low to the ground that I couldn't get the jack down there so I can support the engine um, while I was doing this. But here, let me show you down there exactly what I did. Okay, we, here we are guys, we are under the engine here. This right here, this is the oil pan. Um, whenever you're gonna jack it up, make sure that you get it from this aluminum part. As you can see, I put my um, my block, my wooden block kind of sideways because this right here, this little cover here, this is actually the AC compressor. If you ask me, this is the port designed to put the AC compressor right under the oil pan where it can get damaged if you hit a bump on the road or something like that. But this is the AC compressor, so we're going to try to avoid uh, lifting up the engine from here, which is why I put my um, block kind of sideways and I had it leaning. You see there's a space in between here, so I got it leaning right on the oil pan. Now this is an aluminum oil pan, so that's why we always use a wooden block always to make sure that we try not to damage the actual um, engine, the engine oil pan or the engine itself. So we lift this up just to have a little bit of tension. Now let's go up on the engine bay and show you what bolts we're gonna take off. All right, so here we are, guys. This is the motor mount that we're gonna be replacing, and we need to move this out of the way. Um, this is the coolant reservoir, and this coolant reservoir is not bolted in here. It's just kind of slid in here, so if we pull it straight up, it's gonna come off. You guys can see, and then it has one more back there. So just pull it straight up, and you guys can see it. The only issue that I have, or the only thing that I want you guys to be careful with, is this plastic water hose here. Now, being plastic and being hot and cold um, all the time, you know, when you turn it off, it gets cold, and then it gets hot whenever you turn on the car and the cooling gets hot. It might be brittle, or it might get brittle. So you wanna be careful, because if you see it here, it gets routed around here, and it kinda goes along here. So what I wanna do first, so I'm gonna loosen it up from here. Might even take this off. Um, looks like this one just comes off. Might even just get it loose here. From here, you guys can see it goes inside this clip. So just get it loose enough where, um, there it goes, now it's loose. So that way, whenever I take this off, I'm gonna pull it straight up. I'm gonna be careful with this, and then I'm gonna move this kind of sideways so I can get to this motor mount right here. Okay, so here it is. So just being really careful with this. Um, I'm just gonna pull it straight up carefully. There's another one back there, so just straight up a little bit at a time. And then once I'm here, I be careful with this hose here, kind of roll it sideways. And there it is. Now it's loose. Now I can move it here. It's just gonna stay there out of the way. Um, if you, if your engine is cold enough, 
Um, you can take this off if you want to. I'm just afraid that um, I'm sure it has some O-rings here. And a lot of times when you take off something with O-rings, if you put it back, a lot of the times it won't seal the same way that it was or it won't seal properly. So I'd rather just leave it alone. And if I can just be careful with this hose, we'll be okay. So now I'm just gonna take this off here. Um, this one right here is gonna be the 18 millimeter socket that I showed you. And the 15 millimeter sockets are gonna go there so I can remove this motor mount. So now let's take off the tension of the motor mount by jacking up the engine with our jack. We already have it on the oil pan like I showed you. So we're just gonna jack it up until I see this tension right here released. We're going up. You guys can see it. So the tension should be out of here already. So now let me get this out of there. Okay, so first I'm just gonna get this one loosened up. One in the bottom, which is down there. Like I said, it has another one back there. So now this one's loose. Same thing loose. Of course, if you have power tools, you can always use power tools. When taking them off, I always suggest that you first put in the first couple of threads by hand. And then if you want to use power tools or air tools to take them off or put it back in, it's fine. But you always want to get started um, by hand. You just never, you don't want to cross or any of these bolts or anything like that. So all this is coming off. And like I said, I've done this on other Ford Focuses. I've done this on Toyota, Celicas, Mazdas, 3s with a four-cylinder engine. This is a very common issue um, with these four-cylinder engines because usually most of these four-cylinder engines only have one or two motor mounts, which causes a lot of pressure and strains out the motor mount, which is why they go bad so quickly. So here's that one's loose. This one is loose too. Bolt is out. Bolt is out. And that's it this one should just come straight up there it is you guys can see this that's that crack i was telling you about let me show you side by side here is a side by side on the motor mount and here let me show you this one doesn't have a crack and this one there is that huge crack right there splitting in two you guys see it that thing is really bad um let me see on this one it was starting to split too right there. So now I'm just gonna install this one back in the vehicle. Okay, so here we are now. Put this one back on there, it goes through the holes. Um, I'm just gonna put the nuts right here, just a little bit by hand. Same thing on this one. And then this one, I'm just gonna drive it with my hand. Don't let go of the tension here um, with the jack because this actually helps you out. You can move the, the motor mount a little bit just so the holes can line up. Okay, looks like all four, the two bolts and the two nuts are four or five threads in there already. So now I'm gonna tighten up the bottom ones first. Really doesn't matter which one's first, but I like to do the bottom ones first. This one. Now these top ones, which are the 18 millimeters, the bottom ones were 15. So now I'm gonna lower the jack slowly. You guys should be able to see the engine drop down a little bit slowly. There it goes. Now it's sitting properly where it should sit. This back here. That's the clip that went on the other side, just like the one on this side. So you have this one here and that one right there. Okay, so now we bring this one back. I'm gonna route this where this where it was. 
right here up and under goes here goes there now we put this one's where it went there there we're all set oh this one now we're all set and there it is the finished product brand new motor mount installed all right guys so that is how you replace the motor mount on this 2013 four focus with a 2.0 like i said but this procedure is basically the same thing from 2012 to 2017 i believe um it has the same motor mount um same issues so running into the same kind of issues same vibration this is probably your issue i will leave a link right there under the description um if i can find a specific part number on amazon like something that is either ford or something like that i will leave it right there in the description that way you guys can buy it from amazon maybe you can find it cheaper there than the actual dealer so all right guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget a thumbs up subscribe hit that bell for me share the channel i will catch you guys on the next video thank you for watching you guys have yourselves great day